Hi everyone, thank you for watching. Today I am going to talk to you about how you can easily calculate whether your income is enough to buy an investment property. Thanks for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button below. All of the ad revenue that's generated from you watching these videos is passed on to local New Zealand charities. We don't take any of the ad revenue from YouTube. Okay, today we are going to talk about the easy way to calculate whether you can afford to buy an investment property. If you've watched our videos, you may know that calculating to buy your own home roughly works out to be about five times your salary. So if you have a $100,000 income, you are likely to be able to borrow around the $500,000 mark. Now this fluctuates depend on whether you've got one child or 10 children, one car or 10 cars, one credit card or 10 credit cards. But roughly for most people, the calculation is five times your income. For an investment property though, you've already paid your monthly expenses, your food, your electricity. So the money that you get from your rental income can go a lot further. One thing you need to know though is that banks scale your rental income. If you earn say $10,000 a year from residential property, the bank will usually only take $7,500 of that. Now that's for a couple of reasons. There are expenses with residential property like rates and insurance, and there are occasional vacancies from your tenants. So the banks have to build that in. And the easiest way to do that is just to scale your income by 25%. After that, the banks calculate what you can afford at 7.1% per annum. Now, I know that interest rates are significantly below that. They're significantly below 3%. But the bank wants to know that in the future, you can afford a higher interest rate. So they've scaled your income by 75% and then make you pay 7.1%. But it still works out okay. The formula for figuring out how far your rental income will go is essentially 10 times. In other words, if you earn $10,000 per annum through your residential rental property, that will get you $100,000 of borrowing. Now, if you're borrowing all of that money, you're using the equity in your own home, that essentially means that you require a 10% return on any residential property. Now, that's a lot for a residential property, and that's the reason most people top out at two or three rental properties, is because they're having to use their own income to top up what the bank requires. It might be that the house is cash flow positive in actual terms, but from the bank's servicing calculator, it's a negative. But if you're looking to buy a rental property right now, you know your income and you know what that future residential property might earn in terms of rental. So you can figure out whether that's enough by times in your current income by five and your rental income by 10 to see if that gets you enough mortgage to buy the new house. So a quick formula, give us some feedback and tell us whether that formula works for you and whether you're ready to buy your next investment property.